Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Oh, that is fantastic. Right, okay, you can stop that now. So, let's see. Jokes. Moo, are you happy now? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Moo, are you happy now? What was that? It didn't say anything. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Okay. Here's the beef. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Here's the beef. Right, so far they're they're very, very simple and plain. Like the the, the human ones, the brilliant, like the whole um the three the the Lord of the Rings one. That is, that is just brilliant. This is, this is good, but it's not like the human one. You know, Torans are born hunters. You ever see a Toran catch a salmon out of a stream? Really is quite exciting. And have you ever seen a Toran stalk a python? Of course you haven't. That's because Torans are so adept at blending in with their surroundings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moo. Are you happy now? Yeah, I'll never get tired of the moo. You know, Torans are born hunters. You ever see a Toran? I think that's probably going to be about him. Really is quite exciting. Have you ever seen a Toran stalk a python? Of course yeah. you haven't. That's because Torans are so adept at blending in with their surroundings. Right, Torin. Okay, so we, we, we've got this dude right here. He does look pretty cool, and it is 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 all amazing. I, I, I like the movement and the motion of it. Like, he, he does look like he could be interesting. And the storyline does also sound like it could be an interesting storyline to play through. But we're not here to do that. So I'm going to log out. He's going to squat. He's going to cop a squat right down there. And we've got to wait, and then we've got to log out. And then we're going to apply the level boost. All right, here we go. I've got the Battle for Azeroth one there at level 48. That's not going to do anything. I'm hoping that this will give us the dual thing so that we get um, that achievement. That's what this is all about. So I'm going to go there. Choose your character on the right. That has got to be Malak Moor over here. Choose your specialization. We'll go balance. It doesn't really matter. Uh, next level up do i want to do it yes i do you sure you want to boost his character you can't change his selection after this step boom level up <laughs> oh look at that now we're looking the part now we are looking the part i'm just gonna log in a minute and see our level 50 druids battle for azeroth has gone and stuck us is it gone and parked us somewhere else is it it's not where i left it well met Welcome to the Ice Crown. The scourge has seemed restless since the sky shattered. It's our job to keep an eye on them. In the meantime, oh, wow. Look at let's all this. make sure your combat skills are sharp. Say the word, and we'll begin. My Heart of Azeroth gains 45,200 power. Uh, Tortolan Seekers, Champions of Azeroth. Uh, Rust Bolt, Resistance, Ulder Accord, Rajani, Talanji, Voldunai, everything. Like, I'm friendly with everything here. Malak Mor has earned the achievement battle for Azeroth Explorer. I got a whole load of these into the wild blue yonder. Character. Reach level 50. No! I've got a... It doesn't count. I've got to level up 10 more points. Log out. Because I didn't get it before the patch came out, that means that I've actually got to level this one up through the new expansion when the new expansion gets here in order to be able to get that um, achievement, the, the, the double thingy achievement, which is bitterly disappointing. I was really hoping we'd be able to do that. 
Never mind, never mind. It's not anything that we can do about it, so we'll leave that one there, and we're gonna go to Beldrast in here, and we're gonna go back to doing what we were doing in this side. I'm uh, just checking our post. We didn't manage to sell our flying machine that we had, so we're going to take that one and we're going to relist it. I'm not going to bother going and getting anything else at the moment, unless I've got something like really dirt cheap for sale in here, in which case I might. But Strange Dust, well actually Strange Dust is two gold at the moment. Uh, I was looking at one gold 60 was last time, I think, wasn't it? And, you know, we possibly could have done that. The, the fell iron ore last time was 50 gold. Now, that right there is 63,000 golds worth of fell iron ore at 20 gold a pop. So, we can't afford that. We don't have 63,000 gold lying around, which means that we ain't going to be able to buy it. That's a crying shame, because that's actually lower than I have previously been listing it for. But never mind, never mind, we won't worry about that. Let's just pop this one on here. Uh, 5,000 gold. See this right here. I listed mine at 5,000 gold, so someone come along and they undercut by a silver. People still doing the undercut thing, despite the fact that it's first... It, Last in, first out. If you list yours after someone else, then yours is the first one to get bought. They did that to stop this nonsense here. So I'm just going to go back to 5,000 gold with mine. I'm going to leave it at that. Because, um, quite frankly, it doesn't really matter if it sells today or not. Right, let's rush back over to our hunter again. Right, back into our hunter. Now, what I was doing, I was busy flying around getting my archaeology leveled up. And I'm hoping that we can still be doing stuff with our archaeology. We're 284 out of 450 on there. Current artifacts, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't seem like anything in particular has changed on this. So I'm hoping it will stay the same. I've got some posts here. Let's have a look. Yuliana, a gift from Yuliana. No, this is a nice gift. It should help a bit when you hit level 35. Skull of War. Unique equipped warlords crafted trinkets. Each time your attacks hit, you have a chance to gain 132 crit for 20 seconds. Ooh. That actually seems very nice. Thank you very much, Juliana. That is one of 12 old alts, I believe. Uh, we will hold on to that one and hopefully we can make use of it. Now. What I was doing was I was still doing some archaeology, like I said. So I've got an archaeology dig there, and I've got another one there in Stranglethorn. So I'm going to go and hit those two a minute. Uh, if we have a look at the... Well, at the moment, uh, I'm on 284 on archaeology. And if we look here... I want to be able to get to Northrend with my archaeology... That's what I want to do. Howling Fjord. I've got none coming up in Northrend at the moment. And as far as I know, I've got to get level 350 to be able to do Northrend archaeology. I'm just kind of looking through. Like It doesn't actually show up on the races on here when they become available. But we're going we're gonna to at least get to level 300 and then we will take it from there. So we're going to jump up onto our Swift Red Griffin and we are going to fly out of Booty Bay and we're going to head north and see what we can find up this way in the way of archaeological digs. Oh, I should also say we've now got... Um, the, re the new release date confirmed. Uh, hopefully they won't change it. The new release date is set for the 23rd of November. So I'm not planning to actually record anything from the new expansion during the first week that it's out. I'm planning to play it. Ooh. I only needed one, X, one XP point in order to reach level 29. So we've just gone past. I've learned a new spell, Eyes of the Beast. Take direct control of your pet and see through its eyes for one minute. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I got that one over there. I don't know if that means... Because I was looking to see what happened to my pet. I had a pet. And I don't know what happened to him. 
Like, uh, I had another one. I had Ollie the Ox. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a, um, a pet master down here. And I didn't, I didn't get to that either, did I? I, I, was, I was kind of wandering around looking for that. The stable master. That's, that's the dude I want. Right, let me go and see the stable master a minute. And then we'll worry about flying north. But yeah, I, I am planning... Oh, flying right there to... Let's do that patch a minute. And then we'll go and see the stable master. So I am I'm planning to like play the game for a while. Um, rather than doing anything else. Uh, which means that I'm, I'm kind of hoping that... Um, well, it, never mind what I'm hoping is going to happen. What I'm, I'm going to do is the 23rd, which is the release date right here, apparently, we hope. Uh, I won't be recording during this week. May have popped on there. But I won't be recording new content for that first week. I'm just going to be playing the game for me. I'm going to be leveling Frithgar that week, and I won't be doing anything else. Um... That Monday there is when I normally try to record World of Warcraft. That's when I will be starting to record new content uh, with aim to releasing the first video either on Tuesday the 1st or Wednesday the 2nd of December. I think it will be Tuesday the 1st it will fall on. Um, which means that um, I'll either... we, we got to decide, do I continue on with Beldras? Because I'm not going to have maxed him out before this point. Or do I go back to Grundorn? I'm thinking go back to Grundorn and we use that character, we level up, we see the new content, and when Grundorn reaches max level, I jump back onto this one and I start, you know, go back to leveling him up and I'll keep going with him until I level him all the way up. Then we can worry about new characters. Right, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm looking for that button right there. And I want to start clearing. So that's kind of my plan for the Shadowlands expansion. So I go and play a little bit of it and do some things. We've got a troll tablet right there. Ideal. That's fantastic. We've got another one right there. Archaeology 286 now. Uh, we've got a third one. This is fantastic. I think I've had four. I don't know if I've ever had five out of a, a dig site. But uh, that three is, is pretty good. That, that, that is pretty good right there. Right, let's, uh, let's pop him down. I'll do him as well. Uh, the mine slave. And slash him like that. And also get the Zanzil zombie. Right, let's just loot them. And then I want to run over here. How close am I? It's the other side of the wall. I just skip over that wall a minute. I want to drop down in here. This is where it's going to be. There we go. Right. There's another tablet right there. That's another 10 troll fragments. So I'm 288. And we want to go back out round this way. Oh, he's right here. He's literally on top of me. I went a little tiny bit too far just then. Let's take him out quick. There. I'd like to know what's happened to my Ollie the Ox. He seems to have vanished. I'm a bit disappointed with this. That's Master's Call. Your pet removes all root. Okay, I don't want to worry about that. Uh, let me just harvest I this one. The range. There's that one. And one more. Right, that really is through the door and round. So we'll do that a second. Uh, oh, this mine slave over here. This dude, he's actually going to cause me some problems. So if I go like that and then Chimera shot him like that and then I'll finish off by taking that dude out. Everything's looking sweet and tickety-boo and then I can get that one right there and that is the final piece. There's another dig site complete. I've got 290 on my archaeology and I want to take a hop, skip and a jump into the air so that I can see where the next one has formed. Right. None down here. I've got two now up in Stranglethorn up there. I've got one hammer toes dig site there and we've got the fossil field all the way up there. So I'm just going to run back to Booty Bay. I want to see the stable master because I want to see if Ollie the Ox is still around. I'm, I'm kind of concerned that we've lost Ollie the Ox for some reason with this update. Call pet five right there. Call Ollie. Oh! Right, we don't need to worry about that. Ollie is... I've still got Ollie. Actually, let's, let's go and get... We'll change him around a little bit. 
I still got Ollie, I think. It's just that I don't actually have him available to summon until I reach level 41. I'm level 29 at the moment, so we kind of like missed out on that a little bit. Now, I've got Crimson Moth showing up here, Tree Python showing up there. I don't have the list of pets showing up here. There was a way to do that, and I cannot remember what it is. Not maximized map pin. Uncommon missing. Oh, it's because I don't have any missing. Except the Hyacinth Macaw. So it should be showing me that. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button when I was... Uh, I pressed... Uh, my, and I got rid of my griffin and then I fell to my doom. Um, I can't remember how I got the, the thing up there. I've got the mod active. It should be working. I can't see why it's not. There's There's got to be an option here somewhere for it. Uh, add-ons. Let's see what that does. That, that, that's just loading the add-ons, but I've got them here. Pet bat Battle Tracker. Pet Tracker. Modification for the Pet Battle UI. Pet Tracker. Pet Battle Teams. It's got to be one of these. Got it. Right there. It's that one. I, I forget it every time. Show capture progress on the objectives. So... Get rid of that, return to game, and then I want to go to collections over here, get rid of that little lure error, er, error right there, and it's this bit here, track pets. Wait, what? It's not tracking the pets, I, I don't have, unless I do have them all. Yeah, but I don't have, like, the uncommon ones. I, it, it could just be that the mod is not working. It's entirely possible that the mod is not working properly because of the update. I'm, I'm just going to have to assume that that is why it's, it's not actually working properly. So right now I'm looking for tracking and hunter tracking, beasts, none, townsfolk, stable master. There, right. There is no stable master. This delightful person here is running around slaughtering everybody. Has killed the stable master. That's why I can't find him. Or her. It's because they've been killed. Because there's a person here who's grinding rep. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to get a stable master down here. Because it's just simply not working. So we're going to head back to Stranglethorn and just do a little bit more um, gathering of archaeology stuff a minute. I've got 200 artifacts there for Troll. That is my maximum amount of artifacts. I cannot have any more than that. Eight there. I got six right there. It's possible that I could have had more. So I need to solve a couple of those before we go and do the next dig site, which is that one over there. We had... Wait a minute, there's a stable master there. Oh no, that's a that's a horde place. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. That's, that's a horde zone. We, we definitely don't want to get stuck on that one. Uh, so I've got a hyacinth macaw over here. And I've got a baby ape. Yeah, I've definitely not got it showing up here on the side where it should be showing up. So it would appear that the mod is out of date or something along those lines. And that is why I don't have my list of pets there on the side at the moment. Which is a little bit frustrating because I don't know what I've got and what I haven't for getting my upgrades. But I still, I'm, I'm only going to be going for blue upgrades anyway. Right, uh, dismiss, call Roger. I'm going to have Horror Jaw helping us for a little bit. Like that, and now we kill him. Uh, we, no, we don't, we don't kill Horror Jaw. We, we, we kill these. Uh, I've got rather a lot of these. So I'm going to need to take several out with my pets over here. Let's see if I can do this as rapidly as possible. I'll take that one down there. And uh, that one's out. So then I can go without Skull Splitter right there. Get rid of that one. And then I can take that one over there out. Like that. And then finally we can come to this one here. So I've got both of the pets working on it. Like that. They, they are both able to do this. Right. Go over to there and lift that lot. I'm not able to skin it, though. 
don't know why I can't skin that one. I should be able to skin it. I've got skinning. I've got my skinning knife there, right there, Ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. Not really sure what that's all about. Anyway, let's do a dig. So we've got yellow. We want to go in this wise direction, which is going to be about here for now. That's going to send me back inside. Uh, we're, we're probably going to have to slaughter our way through quite a lot of these dudes. So I'll take that one out over there as well. And... Yeah, I'm going to kill that one as quick as I can. And then this dude over here, I'm going to put a bleed effect on him. And then I'm going to go back to this one over here. Hopefully take him down fast like that. And then he's dead anyway. Right. Somewhere in here... I've got someone sleeping there. I'm just going to ignore it. Ah, there we go. Right, troll tablet right over there. I can't carry any more of those. I can't carry any more of those. He's, he's changed his, his voice ever so slightly. Yeah, I, I need to do the artifacts before I can pick that one up. We need to go in here or solve that one. There's 27 pieces to solve. Uh, then we'll go with the haunted war drum. 300. Nice. Look at that. Troll. 311 I'm on at the moment. I had it in my hand. Find a rare artifact. Artisan archaeologist, 300 points. Okay, so the rare artifact, that would have been over 100 of them, which would explain why I suddenly don't have the haunted war drum right there. Rare. What appears to be an ancient elaborate troll war drum. Uh, long ago, the most dedicated troll war drummers would allow themselves to be flayed alive in order to provide their hide. For their precious instruments, while a troll's incredible natural regeneration allowed one to survive such a grueling ordeal, it was a long and excruciating process that drove many mad with pain. It is said that if such a war drummer was to be slain while playing such an instrument, his spirit would pass into it. Right, that's uh, rather freaky. I'll be honest. Zandalari Voodoo Doll. Little is known about the emergence of Voodoo among the trolls. The troll belief system is complex, full of dark spirits and primal, often animalistic gods known as Loa. Okay, you can't click on that one to get any more information. Only the, the rare, apparently. Right, anyway. And then current artifacts over here. Uh, troll. I'm now on 73 out of 35. I don't know how many I used up for that um, rare one. I didn't really pay any attention to that. Okay, let's, let's pick up the troll fragment right there. And I need to skip out over to this end of the encampment for this one. So I'm going to go like that. You're doing it up here because I, I want to try to avoid as many of these things as possible. As, as, uh, yeah, as many of the trolls as possible, but I don't really think that's going to be entirely possible. It's not... Oh, yeah. It's just not going to happen, is it? Right. Let's take him down nice and fast. And we'll try that again. Right. Now, where are you sending me? You're, you're, you're wanting me to go over here. And that's one there. Hopefully, you will stay just far enough away from them. So, there's another dig. And uh, now, I need to go right through these. So, I may as well take him down like that. And you. Have you out there. Kill the hunter first. Then go in with the Skull Spitter Panther over here and finish him off as well. Then we can go on up here. Ah, there we go. Right. Another dig up there. So there's another archaeology find. I'm still going up in points. We've got 313 now. And I'm not sure if it's 375 or if it's going to be 350 that we're going to want for getting through the Outland stuff. But I don't need to go to Outland, apparently. I can do it straight from in here, which does make our life a little bit easier. Does make it a little bit easier to deal with, if we can do it like that. Right, I've got a Berserker right there. He was fast asleep until I stuck an arrow in his butt. Um, <laughs> that's That's going to wake anybody up. That's going to wake anybody up. And also, they're not going to be too happy about it. So, that would probably be why he attacked me the second he woke up. I think I probably would have done the same. 
I'll be honest with you there. I probably if if someone had gone and shot my backside with an arrow and set a crocodile and panther on me or leopard, snow leopard, no less. Uh, I I think I would have been a tad upset about the whole ordeal. Right. Let's get rid of these. I got two of them here, busy attacking me. Uh, take that one down with the pets, and then you over here with the Chimera shot. Let's go forward a bit more, and now which way do I want to go? I want to go over here. Uh, it was just close enough to irritate that dude over there, so I'll, I'll take him out a minute. Oops. Okay, I, I woke up the... Actually, yeah, I did. I, I woke up I woke up the one that was sleeping, and then I got Braddock over here, who is obviously... You know what? Let's go with a little bit of a boost on that. Braddock, I've had it for you, son. You're out of here. And then I've got that Searing Totem right there, and then he's doing a healing wave that didn't do him any good at all, so I can take him down. And I must not forget to mend pet. Mending pet is going to increase haste by 30% for all 6 minute cooldown on Primal Rage. Primal Rage seems actually pretty good. Right. Now what? We've got a red light. So we want to go whizzing off over this way. I did hear him. I, I was reading a thing about um, Blizzard and archaeology. And apparently there's quite a few of the developers who don't like archaeology. They don't think it something that should still be in the game they think they should have gotten rid of it because it was introduced what was it pandaria was it or cataclysm it was one or the other um but it's not something they think should have stayed in the game they think that it should have been gotten rid of after that expansion and never brought back again i'm glad that they didn't get rid of it because i quite like archaeology and they, they have added in some other things with it at different times right we've got one more up there in stranglethorn and there's two up right up the top so we're just going to get this one here in Stranglethorn, and then we'll make up some more tablets, and we'll see what we got. We should be getting pretty close. We're 316 now. We we've got several more artifacts as well. We're 120 out of 35 there. So, artifacts-wise, we're doing all right as well. In theory, we should get pretty close to it. There was one other thing I wanted to do is just have a quick look on the map now because i got four over here, and if I look in Kalimdor, I've got four in Kalimdor that I can get pretty easily. Uh, just wanted to have a look at Northrend. There's none showing there on the main map, and if I zoom in, I've got none showing there either. If I go to Outland, I've suddenly got... Uh, four of them showing up in Outland. I've never been to Outland, so it's either going to be 375 that we've got to get to for Northrend or 350. Both of which aren't actually going to take that long. We seem to be getting through them reasonably quickly right here. So I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of getting that so that then we can go back to Northrend and also be doing archaeology at the same time. So let's whiz down to this one right here. We'll see what we can get with this one in here. We're pretty close to the enemy right here, though. Not sure I'm entirely comfortable with our proximity to that horde outpost right there. Let's go up along here. We've just got raptors and stuff to fight here, so we're not going to be, like, attracting the attention of stuff that can shoot us. Um, any enemies like that? Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired, and... Well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well, so we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.